Hey, welcome to the inaugural video for Buckeye Barbecue. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, for this first video, uh, I'm going to make a really short one just to learn the ropes. And I'm going to show a couple of modifications that I made to my pit barrel cooker today. I really do love the pit barrel cooker. It holds a rock solid temperature provided you follow the instructions and, and light it properly. Uh, usually between 275 and, and a little over 300 for me. Uh, however, the temperature can get away from you if you light the pit barrel improperly or you don't have your vent set right. Um, for that reason, I wanted to add a tell true thermometer so I could know the, the temperature within the cooker while I'm cooking. Uh, just uh, so it will give me an idea if the temperature is getting away from me or uh, maybe I'm running out of fuel and I need to add more. So I added that. If I had one thing to do over again, I will say that I wish I would have put the uh, temperature probe uh, an inch or so lower than the grate. Uh, I can get the grate in, it's not hard at all, but I do have to make sure I avoid sitting it on the top of that temperature probe. So live and learn, it still works, um, but uh, something I would definitely do differently. The other thing that I did was add this rubber grommet to the side of the pit barrel cooker. That way I can feed a meat probe in if I want to monitor the temperature of any meat I happen to have on the pit barrel. And I could also use another ambient probe through there as well. In order to drill these holes, I'll show you the drill bit that I used. So just a titanium step bit uh, for the uh, tell true thermometer. I just had to do the, uh, the first section there and uh, it made the hole uh, large enough but not too large for the tell true thermometer to be installed and then i had to go up to an inch and a quarter for the grommet and i have uh, that's about right here the very second to last one uh, it was a little bit tedious uh, the hole probably only the smaller hole probably only took me about a, a minute or two the uh, larger hole probably took five minutes and you just had to be steady, uh, take your time and uh, put a little bit of pressure on the bit and, and it did the work. Uh, I had to vacuum up some metal shavings and I certainly wore eye protection, but it wasn't that bad. So again, thank you very much for uh, joining me on my inaugural video. Uh, I do plan to uh, post more videos over time. Uh, all my experience is barbecuing. I'm by no means an expert. I'm just a, a real guy that loves to uh, cook outside. So please do uh, subscribe and, uh, and keep an eye out for new videos. Uh, thanks so much for joining. I will put uh, in the description of this video, assuming I can figure out how to, the links for the grommet and the drill bit that I used. I, I got them both from Amazon. So thanks again for joining.